Since I got into journalism some years ago, I've been known as a daring pioneer who will be willing to take risks for the good of a story. How was last night any different to heading into a war zone or a dangerously violent neighbourhood for good reportage? I dosed on heroin, coke, weed, mescaline, methamphetamine and cat. It was a bad way of getting info since I forgot most of the albums worth of tracks I put through my eardrops. Traps? Yeah man, that's what's down with it. You stick on some headphones, decent ones with good audio, and then listen to these audio recordings and they get you utterly wasted, wasted. Being a heavyweight veteran on the scene, I couldn't deny myself the ultimate combo in aid of journalistic merit. Every type of song which mimics the effects of popular drugs taken within one hour. Safe to say, I oscillated between sedate monging to Dr. Dre tunes and euphoric chattiness to club classics, plus a bit of groove into a ease cheese. Yet I was alone like so many eye-doses are as they get their Audi fix. Apart from my Android phone which saw use as I clocked up 14 quid on the bill. 13.98 quid more than my high cost. I started small. Just a bit of chronic groove or ice cold for a nice chill feel. I started small, 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 small. Just a bit of chronic groove or ice cold for a nice chill feel. But I couldn't, couldn't just keep it at just that. My tolerance rocketed and soon I was on the wavelengths that mimicked the Class A drugs, which would land you for a stint in jail for possession alone a lot of the time. But up until now there has not been a journalist as brave as I who has decided to jump into the deep end. <sighs> This isn't something to be taken lightly. This has been written about in recent days by the Daily Mail and Sun journalists that earn more than triple what I do yearly, so they must be correct. They are, because I'm a living example of how bad it can get if you become an idos addict. If you have the internet, you can easily find all the potent tracks. You don't need a dealer, because so many are easy to get downloaded rather than having to be paid for. I don't even know what this thing is about because I'm feeling the come down and uh, well, well it speaks for itself. The teenagers online who mock the practice just haven't listened to bittersweet sodomisation or Moose King without. These code names denote the most hardcore highs. These synthesised binaural waves rewire the brain's chemistry, catapulting you into an altered state of beingism. Or have actually realised the truth behind things, the ultimate unity of every atom in our cosmos. And I knew, however fleetingly, what needed to be done. But this feeling is then replaced by the grinding pain of cravings, serious dry tongue, itching, nightmares, and other side effects to make you go back for more and more and more. It was then I realised. So I could at least warn others of the dangers of allowing this filth into your ears. This unnatural, synthetically forged poison that ruined my life. I'm not even as quality as a garden G2 or News of the World journal now. Before I had everything going for me as a young talent. I even wrote stories in the early stages. One concerned a man named Harold who harpooned for a living. Harold the Harpooner. I wanted to bring it out as a kid's book but what publisher would risk taking on an eye-dosing addict like me? Parents, watch out if your kids approach this. Kids, just be careful, okay? It's worse than real drugs, as it's almost free as you can do it more and more than drugs. Just, 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 just take a deep breath and leave it alone. 